Hello everyone. We have our own website now, and on that website, we have enabled a facility for everyone to use for online fee payments. The link and the details, I have shared in the WhatsApp group, so let me explain a little bit in detail today. Parents and students or guardians, who are paying fees to this online payment system in our website, is that please ensure that the correct name and the class of the student are entered. Now let's start. How you can access the site, through the link which is there in the WhatsApp message. You could click on it, and it will take you to the school website that is lhskpi.com or you could type in in your browser lhskpi.com. It will take you to our school website. Today for the sake of demonstration, I will access the online fee payment section. This is available to members only, so you would need to sign up to, to sign up. You have three options. One is Facebook, one is Google or you could sign up with any other email. I'm using Google, so I will sign up with Google. I will use my personal account, and I will sign in. So now I am signed in. Now I can access this online fee payment section. The first page is your tuition fees. The second page is your admission. And the last, I have just added an option to enable class 9 registration or a class 9 registration charge. Now in the mobile version, the only difference is that the screen is a bit smaller, and so automatically, by default, the text or the pictures come a bit larger. But the layout and the system is the same, from the beginning till the completion of the process. And let me choose class 9 registration, so I click on class 9 registration, and then I enter the name of the student. Then I just for the sake of example, put ABCD. Now this is class 9, so I will enter class 9 over here and I will add it. This goes over to the my fee payments total, and the subtotal is also given here. So let me go to the next step. The next step or the next page, is to confirm it. Now at this stage also, you have the option to remove it. Now the next step when I click on checkout, it will take me to the, to the next step. So in all steps, it's a very careful process. Now here you need to enter. You have your name. In case you leave it blank, it will, the system will reject it by default. Right then, compulsory your first name, last name, address, the city, or the town, the country, the region and your PIN code, and phone number, must be added for confirmation. Next step, is to continue. Click on continue, and you go to the next step, that is to add your credit or debit card details. So you enter your credit card number, an expiration date, and then your CVV. Those who are familiar with online shopping, through Amazon, or Flipkart, it is the same process. Now let me add, and then, the name of the card holder. Now you have the option to save this card, or not to save. So now we will go to the next step, and the final, before you complete the payment. When you're satisfied this is the amount, that has to be paid, then you are a go to the final step. This will take you to the payment portal, that is Citrus India. It is a very safe, and secure porta, L and here again you will have to get a confirmation from the bank. Since I am registered with SBI, I get a password through SMS. The SMS has come to my phone, to come to my mobile registered mobile number. Now I add this OTP, or one-time password, and complete the final payment. When the payment is successful, you will also receive an email from the school website. And this will confirm the payment.t as I reminded you. Please make sure that you enter the name and the class correctly. This was just a test payment, so I have put the name as ABCD. Exactly as you enter the name, this will show up on our records. And we will update your fee payment records accordingly. So I hope that you take advantage of this facility. Not, I don't think I will be mistaken, if I say that we are perhaps the only school in KPI so far that is providing this facility to the parents and the students. So please do utilize this facility, which is very user-friendly, very simple to use, and it's very convenient. And in this pandemic, this is the most secure and safe way in which we can do all this, and continue our support to the school just by staying at home. Also, in case you have any doubts about your fee payment position this is uploaded in a PDF file. Now you could download this file, or view it in your mobile, or in your desktop. Now this will show you the position. I normally, I update this every evening, say by 5 p.m. or sometimes if I'm working late it goes to 6 or 7 p.m. so this shows you exactly, up to which month you have paid. And March is where we are requesting you to kindly clear your dues. By the way, it's already June. Teachers are largely dependent on the tuition fees and if you have any doubts please contact me by email or by WhatsApp. Thank you, and stay home and stay safe.